No, it's chilly in Florida. And everybody from Florida knows if it's chilly, spring is around the corner. And when spring is around the corner, United Methodists know Lent is almost here. And what's Lent? Lent is the 40 days, not counting Sundays, that lead up to Easter. And I want you guys to get out your calendars or come back to this video later and get out your calendars and get some things on there. We have so much going on in Lent and I want to tell you all about it. Lent begins March 2nd with Ash Wednesday at our 6 o'clock service in the sanctuary. That service will also be live streamed on Facebook. Each Wednesday at noon during Lent, Memorial will join with St. Peter's Episcopal, First Presbyterian, and Trinity for a joint Lenten service. We'll be rotating pastors and church locations each week. We welcome back the tradition of our community Easter celebration Saturday, April 9th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. We host this with First Presbyterian, and we're going to need lots of volunteers so we can give this annual gift to our community. Holy Week begins on Palm Sunday, April 10th, and that will be the day our chancel choir and ensemble present our Easter cantata at the 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. worship services and live streamed at 11 a.m. on Facebook. We'll have an abbreviated worship service at 9.30 so the church can join in with the community palm processional at the courthouse with other downtown churches. As we move through Holy Week, we'll have our Monday Thursday service at 6 p.m. when we remember the Last Supper. Our Good Friday service will be both on campus at 6 p.m. and online at the same time. And Easter Sunday, we'll have our four regular worship times, 8 o'clock, 9.30, and 11 o'clock on campus, and 11 o'clock on Facebook Live or later on YouTube. Whew, that is a lot happening in Lent. So I'll be giving you more details on each of those things as they get closer. Now, something you can start helping with right now for Lent are two worship arts opportunities. Now, you heard me mention our cantata that will be on Palm Sunday. Now, our ensemble and our choir are presenting that together. And if you would like to be a part of that, I have a great opportunity for you. This year, there are two different rehearsal times, Wednesday at 6 o'clock or Monday at 1.30, both in the music room. Come on by to get involved or contact Dr. Joan. And actors and volunteers are needed for a modern live action Last Supper tableau that will be presented during the Monday Thursday service on April 14th. Now there are speaking and non-speaking roles so everybody can get involved. So contact Dr. Joan if you're interested in helping out. Now you've already heard about and we'll probably hear more about the wonderful turnout we had for Memorial at our February hands-on mission, the Rise Against Hunger event. There were so many red shirts there. I, I'm telling you, we had the biggest group there by far and kids got to help, which was just wonderful. Now that was our hands-on mission event for February and I want to give you a heads up about our upcoming hands-on mission for March. Next month we'll be concentrating on our feeding ministries by committing to working at Gracie's Kitchen and IDN and there'll be multiple dates throughout the month that you can get involved and more opportunities for you to build up those 200 hours of service for the year. I'll tell you more about it when we get closer to March but you guys be getting ready by getting those red shirts all cleaned and ready to go. Marking our calendars for events during Lent helping out with our worship arts through drama and music, and getting ready for our March hands-on mission. These are just some of the ways that you can live your calling this week through Memorial.